Hey everybody, um, I'm Ali Andrzejewski and I'm here with Mark Lester to talk a little bit about in-house and travel and the options available for the kids. So I grew up in LTRC playing in-house and travel, my dad coaching me in both. And my dad had um, the sense that I really enjoy the sport and I was taking to it really well. Um, and he wanted to put me in an environment where I could have a little bit more of it and a little bit more opportunity to develop. And that's not for all kids. Um, definitely for me, for some kids that just really love the sport, giving them that opportunity to develop is really important. For the kids that just want to play and have fun, I think in-house is a great spot because it's a lower commitment. It's one practice a week and one game on the weekends. But if your child really enjoys the sport, you have to get them into, um, I would say, a travel program. By the time they're 11, 12, 13 would be kind of the end of that window so that they are exposed to the skills and the amount of practice that they would need to be successful if they want to take the sport a little bit farther, maybe in the high school, maybe into college. So Mark um, has coached in in-house and he is also currently tra coaching travel. And I just want to have him talk a little bit about his experience coaching travel um, versus in-house and the different commitment levels, Mark, of the different travel teams because some teams are not as intense as others right. for parents that maybe want to give their child the opportunity but they don't want to overcommit. Sure. Right? So. Yeah, so um, as Coach Ali said, uh, in-house is kind of a low commitment um, practice one night a week and then typically you have a game on Saturday for approximately seven weeks and then at the end you have like a single elimination tournament. Um, travel on the other hand is a little bit different in that you typically we have trouts that begin around May um, of each year and then teams are selected based on tryouts. Um, typically each age group would have uh, approximately two teams. Um, some age groups only have one team um, some age groups actually have three teams. It really depends on how many people come and try out and um, how many coaches are available to be able to coach. So uh, once teams are formed, then depending on the level of teams, so usually you have like a top team in each age group and then there's lower teams as it goes on. But typically uh, travel will practice twice a week, um, usually beginning around um, the weekend after July the 4th. Um, and they will practice all the way through November. Um, but not all travel teams have full attendance in the summer, right? Because people right. are on vacation, so your coaches right. are usually pretty flexible with that. Yeah, so like at least for my teams and stuff, we've always told our players, look, vacations take priority. We understand that. Um, we have kids that go to camp that are gone for weeks at a time. Um, we have kids that you know go to um, the Outer Banks or Ocean City or different places um, to celebrate vacations with their families and, and we actually all the coaches encourage that we want the kids to still be kids and still have fun and still be able to enjoy their summer vacations um, but we do schedule practices during that time so that if people are here and they want to train then we'll go ahead and, and start training them and prepare them for the season usually around August the first beginning of August is when most time that uh, people actually start coming more regularly vacations are starting to come to an end as we really start to gear down and prepare for our season so typically most teams will have three to four tournaments um, during the August to I would say November time frame um, typically our LTSC actually hosts a tournament called the Challenge Cup that usually happens around the end of August um, so that's usually one tournament and then all teams usually will play a, a tournament around Columbus Day weekend um, and then there's usually a tournament at the end of the season in November. A lot of teams around this uh, in LTSC play Falston Cup, but there are some other tournament options available for teams that are a little bit more competitive. And, and what, what does that entail? What kind of commitment is that? So you have games on the weekend, like one game every weekend? So it, it really or? depends. That's a great question. And it really depends on the coach and it really depends on the team. So some teams, at least it seems in my experience as the younger age groups, they'll start off with just one game a weekend. So they might play on Saturday or Sunday. Um, as they get older, they, some of the groups tend to think that they want to play both Saturday and Sunday. So they'll play in two separate leagues. So you can't have two games on Saturday and Sunday, um, or excuse me, a game on Saturday, a game on Sunday, which is two games a weekend. And then as they get older, sometimes they still continue to play that two games a weekend, or uh, some of these more competitive leagues like EDP, where you only still play one game a weekend, which could fall on a Saturday or a Sunday, depending on how the game schedule works out. And then when they go to tournaments, what does a tournament weekend look like? 
So a tournament is a pretty big commitment. So um, most teams will play two tournaments locally. Sometimes they'll play three locally, but usually some of these uh, teams will go out and they'll play it um, off site, like out of state somewhere. For instance, um, Cape May, New Jersey was a tournament in the past that's been played a lot over the Columbus Day weekend. Um, recently, Hershey of Pennsylvania is another tournament that people are going to to play um, as well over the Columbus Day weekend. So in that sense, in all, all these tournaments, you'll have two games usually on Saturday and a game or two on Sunday, or you could have a game Friday, game Saturday, and a couple games Sunday. It varies, but typically about three to four games is what you can expect over the weekend. Um, and again, if you're traveling out of state, then it you know, may be that you have to travel up Friday night because you're playing early Saturday, so you have to stay in a hotel um, with your team and then um, play Saturday, spend another night in a hotel, and then play on Sunday. So well. if, a, if a team does that, it's usually just one of the three tournaments, usually. And the other right. two will be local, like Challenge Cup is played at Ridgely Middle School, Simonium Elementary School, at all of our local fields Correct. here. So that you're really only committing to one big weekend away. The Correct. other two are a little bit more manageable. Correct. And also a lot of players carpool or Correct. players might stay with another family right. if, if it doesn't work out for the parents. There's a lot of cooperation between the families to make the commitment work because everybody's got, uh, well not everybody, but a lot of families have multiple kids to have to have to manage, right? That's correct. Yeah, there are, there, as Ellie said, there's definitely a lot of families that have two, three, I've even seen four and five kids that are all playing travel, they're all playing soccer, and so um, a lot of times the parents will have to, to get the other parents involved to help out, and, and I've seen great cooperation amongst parents uh, in all different age groups with, with help, so if that's something that, don't let that be a factor, I would say, in, in holding you back from trying out for travel. So of course we want to encourage our local players to, to stay local with us, with, with right. LTSC, but there are other clubs in the area um, that are options, so why do you think LTSC is a better option? What makes LTSC kind of special in comparison to maybe some of the other options that people may have? Well, I think, I think two things. Number one, I think um, obviously location is one because you're here so you don't have to travel far to do practice and to play. Um, I mean, you will, you will travel when you play away games, but at least you know your home games are going to be close. Um, the other thing I would say is, is LTSC that kind of separates them from some of the other clubs is they allow multi-sport athletes. And I think that's one of the big things um, for, for me is that you know I really encourage my players at this age that it's okay to be a multi-sport athlete. You should do a multi-sport athlete. It helps you out, um, benefits you learning different coordination stuff. It also helps with injury prevention. There's a whole multitude of things that I think for me that a multi-sport athlete is, is a benefit for. So uh, one of the things I think that separates LTSC out is while there are teams that do tr train year round, while there are teams that will play in winter leagues, that will play in spring leagues and stuff, um, we understand that that you're also playing other sports like basketball, like lacrosse and other stuff that allows you to still go and do that and still be competitive in soccer. And really, studies show that up to age 12, it's very important for kids to be playing multiple sports Agreed. because um, it decreases the risk of injury. You're, you're teaching your body to move in different ways for different sports and it also really decreases the, the rate of burnout. I think the stat is like 70% of kids quit their respective sports um, by age 13, 14 as they're going into high school. So, you know, having it be accessible, fun, easy to, the, 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 and, and open to multiple sports, I think that just kind of lends to it just being an overall better experience and kids kind of staying with the sport longer, which is what we want. Right. And then the other thing I'll, I'll just know, and you can, I don't know the, the specifics on this, but LTSC in comparison to going to other clubs is, is a lot more affordable. Correct. Correct. It is. It's a lot. It is cheaper than some of these other programs that are out there, and a lot of that is because the other programs are, are asking you to commit year long. Um, so that's that's part of it. But I, it is absolutely cheaper than, than most any other program around. Well, we hope that this helps a little bit in kind of clarifying what your options are. And if you have any um, any questions or any interest in kind of pursuing some more information, you can go to LTRC's website is ltrcsoccer.org and on the website it has contact information for every coach and every age group or you can just also email the admin if you just have a general question and and of course you can always email me um, but thank you and um, good luck have a good season see you guys